Hey, fourth grade, Mr. Osborne again. There are so many really cool things about pitch. So one of the things, and this is something that some of you may already know about. You may have already either studied it in like your own private instrument lessons. Like maybe you take guitar or maybe you take piano lessons. Um, or maybe you just have had some really great teaching, some really seriously good, uh, you know, basics, and you've learned some really cool stuff. <clears throat> so one of the things that's really cool about pitch is there's these really, there are these really cool things called scales. And you may have heard your older brothers, sisters talk about it. Maybe you've heard mom or dad talk about it. Maybe you've had, you know, some other family member, or maybe you yourself have already started learning about scales in your own music instrument study. But if you've never seen it before and you have no idea what this is, what you're looking at right here is a scale. Now you might remember um, a little bit ago, I was showing you in the previous slide, um, different scales like C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. In fact, I think I actually played all those for you um, a little bit ago. So when you play those eight tones, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Um, by the way, you know what else is cool about this? You can do that with letter names like I just did. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. But did you also know you can do this really cool thing called solfege? And there's these really cool hand signs that go with it. So you start with Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La. T, Do, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, T, Do. Yeah, those are cool. And I may show you a picture of that a little bit later on, the different hand signs that you can use. Or you can just refer back to this video anytime you want, and I'll go through that. I'll do it one more time for you. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, T, Do. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, so scale, you'll see here that the definition, here's your term, scale. And then the definition, a series of pitches arranged in half steps or whole steps. So yeah, that's the scale. And you'll notice they are a series of pitches. So like I was talking to you about in the first slide, the, the pitches are kind of chained together, kind of daisy chained together um, by a step, one step, C to D, D to E, E to F. Now, actually, to be accurate, you know, C to D is a step, but D to E is a step, but E to F, is that a step or a half step? Ah, yeah, it's actually a half step, isn't it? And then F to G is a step, G to A is a step, A to B is a step, and then B to C is actually a half step. Yeah, we'll talk about that more, and also uh, we'll kind of combine that with a piano keyboard and you will actually ha have a better understanding of why E to F is a half step and B to C is a half step. Uh, if you've ever looked at the piano keyboard, you'll notice that there are um, like a white key, and then there's a black key, and then there's another white key, and a black key, and a white key. But then guess what? There's no black key there. It goes actually from a white to another white key. And there's white key, a black key, white key, black key, white key, black key, white key, and again, no black key in between the B or the C pitch. So we'll talk about that. Now, interval. Ha! Huh. I think you may have already covered that. And if you haven't, uh, great. We'll talk about it now. Interval is the term here. The definition, the distance in pitch between two tones. So like C to D, that's going to be the interval of two. Because the way you do it is you count this one and then you count that. So one, two, it's an interval of a second. One, two, three, C to E is an interval of a third. One, two, three, four, C to F is an interval of a fourth. C to G, interval of a fifth. C to A, interval of a sixth. C to B, an interval of a seventh. And then C to shining C <laughs> is an octave or a uh, the interval of an eighth. Yeah. <clears throat> so, second, 
third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then an interval of an eighth from C to C. Right. Now, what's also fun about intervals is you can actually use songs to kind of um, figure out the intervals. Like if you're going to do interval of a fourth, C, F, 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 here comes the bride. That's one way you can remember the interval of a fourth. Another one, uh, C, G, F, E, D, C, G, F, E, D, C, G, F, E, F, D, C, G. That's the interval of a fifth, a.k.a. Star Wars interval. Cue the lightsaber and the heavy breathing <laughs> Darth Vader mask. <laughs> and planets exploding and all that other stuff and lasers and R2-D2, C-3PO and Luke Skywalker and, and all those guys. Um, yeah, so the interval, the distance between two tones. Um, C to E, Michael, row the motor sharp, one, three, one, three. Yeah, and again, one, four, 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 here comes the bride, wedding song. One, five, one, five. The Star Wars song, one six, my Bonnie lies over the ocean. I, I don't really know of a song from one to seven. Someday somebody needs to write one. Maybe I'll do it, or maybe you'll do it. That would be cool. And then, of course, CC, uh, the interval of an eighth. I can't think of anything right now, any songs that go from an interval of an eighth. So, moving on, pitch. How high? High C? or low, low C, or anything in between, how high or low a, a note sounds. That's the pitch. The term is pitch, the definition, how high or how low a note can sound. Octave, we talked about that. Same note, eight tones, higher or lower. So C, C, one, eight, octave. Cool beans. Uh, so there they all are together. Scale, series of pitches or rain and half steps, whole step. Interval, distance of pitch between two tones. Pitch, a high or low a note goes or sounds. And an octave, uh, the exact same note, C, C, uh, eight tones higher or lower than the other. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more about pitch in the next slide.